Uh, July is almost over. Thank you all very much for joining me for Christmas in July. I appreciate everybody's participation, all of your comments, and hopefully anybody that has won and received gifts uh, enjoys them. But we have blazers to give away in this video, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna head to some thrift stores, do a little shopping, do what we do on this channel, and then we will pick one of the two remaining gifts for Christmas in July. Uh, and that's gonna be it, but for now, let's get to the stores. This is a brand that I've never seen or heard of before, Karayuma. So, and it looks like current listings, active solds, lots of active solds. This is a Bolo brand. This is a brand you probably want to keep your eye out for. A pair of suede shoes here. Unfortunately for me, it's a little bit too much damage on the back. So I'm going to have to leave those behind. But I'm telling you, the list to solds ratio, it's not an exact ratio. And I think a lot of you that listen to me know that that's the case, but lots of solds in the last 90 days for that shoe. I can't pick those up. I'm going to pass on them, but keep your eye out for that brand. What a shame here on this blow mold, right? I love picking up blow molds and yes, they are a pain in the drain to ship and it doesn't always end up getting there in one place. I almost just completely dropped that. But um, at $18 with that amount of damage, I couldn't see what the brand was. It, Atlantic Mold, maybe, but I have to leave that behind at $18. Honestly, I don't think it was worth five with all of that damage. So I'm going to skip that, but I'm going to grab two polos right here. I like the size. It's 2XL. It's not a tall or uh, like a, a wider 2XL size, but this one had the unique collar on it, some embroidery on the front. I think these like rugby style shirts, these embroidery style shirts, they sell a little bit better for me when back to school comes. And so I'm just sort of playing on the timing. It was in great shape. So I think I'm gonna list that one for 30. This one here, this like 1967 rugby polo, does have some consistent sales in the last 90 days at least, and probably going back to two years. So the 2XL on that one, I'm probably gonna list them both for 30, although I did see this one sell for 33 in the past 90 days and it may have sold for more if you go back two years using Terapeak, but I'm gonna just price them both at 30. I don't know so much about the first white one, although I do like the style and it, when I got it home to take pictures, it came out very, very clean. So I like the two X's and above, but I especially like the tall, two X tall, three X tall, four X tall sizes for Polo Ralph Lauren. And so I hope you uh, pay attention to those two when you're in store. Totally lucky here on this Lululemon Fundamental T, very basic, no real design on the front and back other than the logo, but it's brand new with tags. So that's awesome. A men's size large, all white. Again, very clean and tags still attached. This is going to be a $45 purchase. The shirts will cost me five, and I think this is going to also cost me $5. So we're at about $15 right now. But um, yeah, the t shirts are a little bit on the high side. And if this wasn't a girl's or a youth item. I think I may have picked it up, although I do understand that, you know, we are in back to school season. And so, you know, the moms and dads out there are looking for all of these types of things for their children. I don't, I'm gonna just leave that one behind and, and hesitating on it. And I, it might even be cheaper than $5. I forget what the kids' jackets are. They, may, they might be three, they might be four, maybe they're five. Let's just say that it was gonna be $5. I left that Nike t-shirt behind as well. Um, that could have had value, but I always hesitate on youth, no matter what season we are in. And so that was no exception, but this, you know, this is going to be a no brainer right here. So this is a youth boys size 12. It is a Patagonia. They're calling it a down sweater. It's a puffer jacket, navy blue in very good condition. I always check the ends of the sleeves because this is like where the um, boogers end up. And so this one looks pretty clean. So I'm gonna grab this here and again, let's just say $5. I don't remember what this stuff cost me in store. $5 for this and I actually saw this one in an XL, like a, four, a 14 boys sell for 55, I think. And then another one it sold for 50 as well. I was thinking more along the lines of $30 for that. So I'm just gonna say 30. Yeah, that might change when I get it listed. And then this here, this looks like a brand new in the box with the certificate Hummel figure. It is um, a Mary Wanderous, The Love Lives On from 2014. 
So one listed at 50, one listed at 85. I do see one that sold pre-owned for $20. So I was thinking maybe coming in at 40, I've got the box, I've got all of the extras that come along with it. I can sell it new open box. Uh, no damage, obviously, to the little figure that was inside it. It was probably never displayed. So maybe $40 for this one here. I, you know, just stretching because I know Christmas is, you know, going to be coming up pretty soon. So I think if I sell it for 40 and I have only paid $5 for it, I've done really well. But I'm paying really close attention now, more so than in the past months, at the Halloween items and the Christmas items, even though they do sell year round, I think like now's the time to really ramp up because I want to have a very, you know, good October and November uh, and December, of course. So just looking over everything here to see if something may have caught my eye the second time around, but I'm pretty sure that I've seen this stuff quite a bit. There's actually coming up here a, a Halloween item that I would have purchased if it didn't have all of the damage, which you will see here. This neat little candle holder, Happy Haunting, got a cute cat here. Unfortunately, she's missing one of her ears. There's like a couple of other chipped pieces off of this. So this would have been great. White Barn Candle Company, New Albany, Ohio. They want $9 for it. It's just not desirable enough with that damage at that price, so I'm gonna leave it behind. So would I have picked that up at two or three dollars? I don't know that having the cat with both ears like makes a big difference. If there had been just a, like a chip off of the base, maybe we could have gotten away with some of the damage, but I think that's a pretty like important part of the overall piece. So I'm gonna leave that behind, but that would have been great. Probably could have sold it for around $25, but the price is wrong and the condition is wrong. So the trinket area is one of those things where it's really not a strong suit of mine, but I will spend, especially on slower days like we're having today, a little bit more time kind of going in and just checking over everything once or twice because they're, I wanna say like hidden gems. Some of this stuff might really stand out to some of you that have a, a little bit of a better eye for the area, this type of area here. I don't necessarily, so I do have to spend the time just looking things up using Google Lens, but I don't recognize anything here that I, I'm really interested in, especially with you know having such a high average sales price for me. Even if there's like some $15, $20 items in here, I don't wanna spend a ton of time looking for those items. If there's a big surprise in here that's worth like 50, 60, then that would be worth it. But I find nine times out of 10, um, it's not really worth my time to spend so much of it looking for that uh, that big dollar item here. I'm gonna grab these Patricia Nash loafers. They're, there's there's five that have sold in the last two years, none in the last 90 days. I think this is called the um, FIA map shoes. I know that there's a price written on the bottom, but I don't think that's what I pay. I think I paid five and a half for them. This store doesn't usually write the prices on the bottom like that. There's a seven and a half that's listed for 55, I think, with free shipping. So I'm gonna have to be, I'm gonna have to come in at around 35. The fact that there hasn't been any that have sold in the last 90 days. And it's like more of a spring and summer shoe, if you will. So I'm gonna have to get a little bit aggressive with my price, but I do well with the Patricia Nash bags. And this is the first time I think that I've ever sourced one of her shoes. So I'm just banking on the fact that it will eventually sell. I'm happy to accumulate shoes and take a risk like that. I feel like maybe if you were a newer seller, you wouldn't, there's a bet, there's probably a better pair that's gonna come out at some point. You wouldn't have to take that risk uh, with the fact that they haven't sold in the last 90 days, but that's something that I'm definitely willing to absorb. So I'll, I'll take that. And then I'm gonna pass on this clock, but it looked really cool. Thomas O'Brien, it's like a vintage modern, what does it say? Yeah, vintage modern Thomas O'Brien clock. There's some round ones in the solds that have sold, but not a lot, right? So it's a Target brand. And if there hadn't been so much damage, nice piece of uh, intact glass on the front, but it does maybe, if you're using the right keywords, like have a mid-century modern feel to it. But with all of that damage, I'm not willing, to, and, and the fact that there's just not a lot of sales to go on, I'm gonna leave that thing behind. And on a slow sourcing day, we're gonna cut it short. On my way home, I saw a couple of garage sale signs, so we're gonna switch gears a little bit, got the GoPro ready to go. And let's see if we can find something at a garage sale. It's been a slow day so far. Uh, but that's really more of a... Yeah. It's, I'm looking for the German one. It's a cute one, though. Yeah. 
Uh, that's fun. That's a cute one. Not Barnum and Bailey. <laughs> that's Barnum and Bailey. But hey, they're no longer around, right? That's I don't true. Think so I think they finally shut down. Yeah. But we well, got those in Philadelphia when we lived out in the state of Delaware. Excellent. Perfect. Do you have prices on your uh, plush those, dolls here? The thing in those boxes right there is free. The These gray, gray on. Yeah. The 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 one that I have my hands you can on. Have them. Take them. I mean that. I can't beat that price. Okay. All right. Yeah, it's, it's, like I said, there's some of the stuff that the kids didn't want it. It was theirs. All right, well. Like, I know it's probably worth something to somebody, but not me. I understand. <laughs> oh, I got little dollhouse furniture here, too. That looks cool. Well, now I'm from here. Now I'm from here. Now you're stuck with them. I played it growing up. That's not like that. You'll have a clue what you're doing. No, I don't. Like I said, I, I, 20 bucks and it's gone. I know it's worth more, but I don't want to deal with it. It's been sitting for 10 years at least since the last time I played it. I like the color of this. This is a pretty color. It is a nice color. Like me and orange kind of go well together, so I think I'll do this for $2. He came back and it's got pretty. the rest of those, huh? No, his friend did. Oh, his friend did. Oh, I see. I see. You're, you're just uh, giving us away now, Mark. Huh? You giving us away? No, I was coming back to look at those. Oh, okay. They're fairly collectible, not much. Okay. I've had them before, but thanks a lot, guys. Yep. All right, we'll call you about the reels. One dollar, sure. <laughs> Your prices are unbeatable. <laughs> Listen. I mean, I wanted to like put I it said, down, now I can't put it down. Up. You're like a dollar? <laughs> right. Alright, we'll try it. We'll do it. Those are tapes. You I'm can have those. In, uh, Goodness. Right now. I know, right? I'm going to end up being the best day ever here real short, <laughs> shortly. <laughs> it's pretty cool. They're, they're, yeah. Okay. Yeah, but they're tapes. I'm not going to take all this for free, but I'll, I'll, I mean, one dollar, I'm going to pay you the dollar. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He took them all. Oh, did, yeah. he, did he put the, uh, he put, oh, the reels, we don't know where the reels are. We don't know where are. the reels are. He's got I, a, I have, he took all the rods. Gonna, yeah, he took all the rods. So. What he said the band do. Yeah. He what do you, what do you the, want? Uh, he's a collector. He took all the rods. I know. He's a collector and seller. And, yeah, yeah, I know. And he told me he didn't know what he was doing. Just the style. Oh, yeah. That's what he told me. That guy, that guy would be here at 2.30 a.m. if you let him. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 I, I didn't know what I was doing. Yeah, he like did said, tell me he didn't know what totally was doing. So we'll find the reels. If you want us to give you a call on the reels. Nope. Okay, just coming up. It does, it's not price, it's a dollar. Thank you. Yeah, awesome. Uh, it's not the cover, it's, a, it's just a header needs to come up and clean out. It, I put a gasket in there every once in a while and it blows through the gasket. Um, Little fluffy bears there. My gosh. I just got a box of a bunch of free ones, so I'm running out of space already, but I'll keep looking. Just uh, probably from Outer Banks, I'm guessing. It's green. That's, like I said, it's some of it's. I'm gonna get. I owe you three, but I'm giving you five. I can't. I can't pay that. Okay. Pay that price. I. You guys are more than fair. Thanks so okay, much. Thank you. No problem. Yeah. Need absolutely. A couple picture frames round out. Your you know what? If they were black, maybe I see some black ones, but I'm good. You're looking for metal? Um, no, but I don't. Yeah, the, especially that size. I need them a little bit larger. Oh, okay. But that's okay. All thank right, you, though. Well, unfortunately. No, I. I appreciate that. Okay. Cool. I saw. We want to see this here. We got some Barbie oh, stuff here. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? Sell you the whole thing for a dollar. I'm gonna have to take this also. <laughs> <laughs> I had a little, two little girls at home that are really gonna appreciate that. And we're riding Thank the Barbie you. bandwagon here right now. Oh, so oh, oh yeah, and everything then, so, is. So there's Barbie stuff in there. Yeah, I see. Some knockoff I, stuff too. But that's okay. This is fun. It's uh, oh, well, the, my uh, oldest didn't want them anymore. Yeah. So I'm like, what do you want me to do with it? She goes, Just sell them. I'm going, all right, well. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm taking them. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yep. Appreciate it. Yeah. Absolutely. 
All right, really quickly, this, I don't think this has much value. In fact, I don't see any solds in the last 90 days. I see a couple of sets like in the seven, eight, nine, ten dollar range. I was really just picking this up because the people were such nice people. I mean, I almost couldn't pass it up. They were willing to give me so many things for free. So I can't really put a value on that. I may, I may just donate this. Um, the Chantel orange tea kettle here, the whistling tea kettle. I think I can probably get $20, $20 for this. Um, I'll clean it up just a little bit for their price. That was very fair. And I have really good luck with orange items for whatever reason. So let's call that $20. This guy here, if it's got any value at all, it's between five and $10. It's missing the like Ringling Brothers sticker that is usually right here on this flip cup. I did see a sold for like 30 and 40, but then I saw a set of the this one where it comes with a white tiger in addition to the orange tiger selling for 20. So, I mean, really, I don't even know that I, I feel like listing this with the amount of damage that there is and the lack of the sticker there. So, so far, this is good. Most of the plush in the free box, and this is to be expected, have some sort of damage. So they're really, or they're just not valuable. So I can't really list them. I mean, maybe five to $10 for this. It just wouldn't be worth my time for the vast majority of these. If they were in better condition, some of them could have been like 10, $15 but um, most of them have too much damage to go on. However, I was able to pull a couple that have some value and they don't have damage. This one here is a good example. I forget what this guy's name is, um, but this just running comps was $30 pre-owned, 30 to 40. And then Bla this is Blaziken from 2004. I think I can also get 20 dollars out of this one and I don't see any damage on the either of these two. So we've got about $50 here and let's just say 20 for the for the teapot, but I mean the fam it's such a nice family and I mean I didn't pay anything for this. So five what did I spend? $5 I mean, is way more than fair. Uh, let's give away the Blazers. A lot of comments on this one. I'm actually really surprised the amount of people wearing Skechers. I'm not surprised. It's just maybe I should look at that a little bit closer for resale purposes as a good mid-level shoe because I tend to avoid that and Under Armour, probably a little bit more than I should. Anyway, let's do the math. 10 and then we got, how many comments did we get? 328 unique comments. And let's pick the winner for the Nike Blazers, size nine and a half. The winner is Bayou Boy Entertainment. I used to wear the OG Penny Hardaway foam posits all the time, but I found a pair, a new pair of Hoka's at a garage sale that actually fit me probably a little bit better. Um, awesome. Congratulations, my friends. Send me your details at dadplanetofficial at gmail.com and I will send those out uh, just as soon as I can. You are the winner of the Blazers. Thank you so much for your comment. Two more, kiddo. All right, go for it. I'm gonna... I'm picking them. Hold on, sit, sit down, babe. Jeez, you went, you went so fast that time. I know, it's okay. because of that. It's okay, yeah. okay. All right, this is a brand new 100% authentic coach belt. Uh, it is just like brown monogram. Got it at a thrift store. I think the value on this, if I were listing this, I would list it for $70. The color is not that great here. So it's a it's like a brown and black um, signature. And yeah, brand new with tags. Excellent item here. And I think, yeah, 70 bucks if you uh, if you wanted to resell that. All right, well, total everything up, I spent $36. I think it's 210 at the thrift stores, about 70 at the garage sale. So $280 is my total listed value. A pretty modest day, they're not all home runs, but the question that I have for you is, what do you think your best quality or qualities are? This is important, especially for those of you that might not comment often. I want you to use this as an example to speak highly of yourself. Sometimes we're way too hard on ourselves. I can tell you one of the qualities that I appreciate about myself now is staying calm under pressure. I, I didn't used to be like that. I've learned just throughout the course of growth and development, how to stay calm under pressure. What's your best quality or what are some of your best qualities? I want you to, and I'm encouraging you to type this out in the comments. What is the answer to that question? Brendan here, Dad Planet, The One Man Show. We only have one more video left in July. Again, I thank you very much and we'll see you in the next video.